Hi, I'm Erica Olson with OnStrategy. Today's whiteboard video is about OKRs that fail without a vision, and it's part of our simplified approach to OKR series. So if you haven't seen the other videos, check them out. Today's video is one of my favorites because without a vision, OKRs are just a mess, or as we like to call them over at OnStrategy, people just create OKR puddles. So let's talk about how not to do that. Um, here are some examples. So what happens a lot is the executive team goes off and creates a vision and a strategic plan and a direction and a roadmap, and then somebody on the team sends out a bunch of OKR worksheets, and the OKRs come back from your teams, and they're not connected in any way, shape, or form to where you're going as an organization. We call this an OKR puddle. Let's not do that because there's nothing simple, simple about an OKR puddle. An obvious thing to do to fix that is you've got your vision and you can create company-wide OKRs that start to inform what about the vision are we going to do or tackle this year. Great, company-wide annual OKRs. And then everybody goes and creates their OKRs and you know what? You still have an OKR puddle because this is what happens. This is interesting. Everybody goes off and creates their own stuff. Not helpful. To solve that problem, here's what we recommend. We've got our awesome vision, we love vision, and you create really clear company-wide objectives. Where are we going this year? And everybody on the team is asked to specifically align to one or more of the O's for the year so that the OKRs are very perfectly and clearly aligned to moving forward the company O, which then moves forward the vision. The magic on that is that these O's are really clear, really concise, and very much translates the vision into what we're trying to get done this year. So that's how you prevent creating an OKR puddle. Here's a couple more tips. Um, you know, the vision's got to be concrete. Check out my videos on vision. Vision's great, but it's got to be, you've got to be clear about your future state and where you're really going for this to work. Um, you have to translate that big vision to annual uh, targets that are concrete. Two concrete things, but concrete's good. Um, do not get rid of self-directed OKR setting, meaning send out those worksheets, um, but just make sure that there's really clear alignment noted in those worksheets and that those company-wide O's are really concrete, as we said. And then team OKRs are awesome. They don't have to be individual OKRs. Check out our video on team OKRs for more information on that. So with that, that's how you avoid an OKR puddle by making sure that your vision is directly connected to everyone's OKRs. Thanks for tuning in. Check out our social channels. Happy strategizing.